Hey guys, after all the requests how to create this kind of thing, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create this in Premiere Pro. It's super easy, it takes a couple seconds to create, the only thing you need is Premiere Pro and obviously Photoshop to create two images. So before I go into Premiere, I wanna make sure I have this right in Photoshop. So first of all, make sure you open up your artwork in Photoshop and you can see here, this is the original image and this is what I created. So I wanna make sure I have both of these images first. So I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna use the size for the reels. And the only thing I have to do now is to select them all and copy, this is the original one. I'm gonna place it above this one. Make sure to make a smart object so you don't ruin the quality. And for this one, I'm gonna rasterize all the layers to make it one layer then select all by pressing Ctrl A and then Ctrl C and Ctrl V to paste it. And you can see here, it's exactly in the same spot. So let's select both of these layers and make it fit this image. And after this, we can import this into Premiere to get the effect. So first of all, make sure it's somewhere in the center. Usually the sides you won't see at, at reels. So make sure you don't have important stuff at the sides. You can really make it perfect by measuring everything if you want to like this. You can see here the eye is not in the center, so I'm moving it a bit to the right, then check it again. This is fine. And you can see here, it's exactly in the same spot. And this is really important if you create stuff like this. So let's save both of these images. This is the first one. I'm just gonna save it as number one and the other one as number two. PNG file is fine. Now let's go into Premiere Pro and create the effect. So start with Premiere Pro and create a new project. And then go to File, New, Sequence. And here we can set the settings. So usually I just pick this one and then I go to Settings. And I wanna make it 1080 and 1920 height. And for the frame rate, let's go for 60, makes it a bit smoother, press OK. And the only thing I have to do now is to just simply drag these images that I created in Photoshop into this project. So this is the first one and this is the second one. So we have both images here. Here we can see the length of this video. So probably somewhere around 10 to 15 seconds maximum. And then if you go to the effects panel here, we have video transitions. Then you wanna go to wipe and select wipe. You can also use the search here. Now I'm gonna, Take this one and drag it at the beginning of the second image. So this is the artwork I created and you can see here it's moving around. You wanna make sure it's over the old one. So you still see the old one while it's moving over it. And if you double click on this one, we can set the length here. So maybe you wanna a bit slower, like four seconds. Make sure to stretch this one out till the end. And you can see here, it's quite easy to create this effect. So if I'm gonna play this, it's gonna make this really smooth transition. And the only thing you have to do is to add a background music and maybe fade it out and that's pretty much it. So once you created this, this is five seconds. I think five seconds even too long. It can be even shorter, like two seconds to make it a bit faster like this. And that's it. And you have a cool reel for Instagram. Now, once you got that, go to file, export, select media. And here you can export the file. Just leave these settings as they are, frame rate at 60, this is all fine. And just save it and that's it and you have your file. So thanks for watching. This video was actually requested by a lot of people and it's pretty easy to create this. You can see it yourself. So try it out, have some fun with Instagram Reels and see you on the next video.